late night game show whose target demographic includes Ambien users. <laughs> We're on very late. We're on very late. Let's meet tonight's panelists. She is an actor and comedian you know from She-Hulk. It's Patty Guggenheim. I'm Patty Guggenheim, and after midnight, I'm gonna let it all hang out. But, but I'm not hanging out, right? No, it's not, not. It's not all hanging out. Fully, just a little bit. Just fully in. Okay, a little bit. A little bit hanging out. <laughs> yeah, keep clapping until I'm done laughing. Yes, thank you. And you know him from Ghosts on CBS. It's Utkarsh Ambukar. <laughs> Yeah. I'm Woodcar Sam Woodcar, or, or as they call me by my easier name at Starbucks, Vinayak Srinivasan Venkataraman. <laughs> <laughs> and she's an actor and comedian you can also see in Ghosts on CBS. It's Betsy Sidaro. <laughs> Man. Thank you, Taylor. And feel free to ask me whatever you want on this show. I have all the answers. In my little top knot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, panelists, tonight you'll all be playing for this pamphlet about UTI. Yay! I need it. I, I've been wondering if I have one. Yeah, it's very uh, informative. That was um, that was actually my first rap name was Utkarsh the Incredible, and I had made it UTI without Ooh. knowing what a UTI was. Oh. And. Uh, Wow. I, I pressed up like a hundred CDs. Did you really? Uh, yeah. How many people did you hand it to before someone told you? Uh, it took all hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One nice, honest person. One of my friends is like, well, we, what are we doing? Switch it to UTK, man. <laughs> well, now that we've seen the prize, how is uh, how's everyone feeling? Are we feeling competitive this mm -hmm. evening, Betsy? Better win tonight. Oh, Dang, oh okay. Man, that was I'm scary. <laughs> I'm super competitive. <laughs> I'm here to win. I think good comedy only comes from competitive yes. environment. Yes. Yes. with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. Yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. I know I read like one, but I'm actually not a farmer, nor have I ever been a farmer. Mm. Still, even I know the significance that John Deere holds in their community. So imagine my surprise when I saw that they're looking to collaborate with my community, screens. <laughs> That's right, they're hiring what they call a chief tractor officer <laughs> to be the face of their social media. Panelists, you're all tech savvy. What would you post as the face of John Deere's social media? <laughs> Betsy. Hey, head over to YouTube and check up our makeup tutorial. <laughs> Your face will get shredded by a tractor. <laughs> Looking for sexy pics? <laughs> Head over to my only farm <laughs> where you'll find heavy <laughs> milk jugs and unshucked <laughs> corn. And unshucked corn. <laughs> unshucked corn. Un <laughs> okay, peeps. Uh, John Deere is on fleek and it's. <laughs> It's super duper not mid, and it, it also has a cap. So just know that the Riz is just very, it's, it's on the grass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's hitting the people. That is uh, good. You I don't sound know. cool, man. I don't know those words. I'm UTI a sound cool, man. UTI, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dude. As someone who's had to do exactly that on this show, I know how painful that was. So well done using mid in a sentence. <laughs> Every year, teenagers across the U.S. are given a consolation prize for making it through the psychological torture of high school. <laughs> no, not a diploma, a yearbook. Recently, a post by at Sky Ezra went viral showing off an AI-generated high school yearbook page. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my God, oh my God, remember? Remember when Champ caught Furtis 
hooking up with foob under the bleachers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was just hand stuff, but they had so many fingers. <laughs> Inspired by these bizarre AI-generated yearbook photos, what are some superlatives for this graduating class, panelists? <laughs> Patty? Cutest couple, Clarser and OS MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy? Uh, Hogby is most likely to win zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Computer dog, man. Hogby's honestly a cute name, actually. Oh, a bonus? Yeah, Patty. Um, most likely to get mixed up, shrimp and shrimp. <laughs> and also not pictured, shamp. <laughs> There's also two borts. And borts. Yeah, double borts. There's two and borts. Bort. There's bowl cut borts and, and, and yeah. nosebleed borts. Yeah, <laughs> I could look at this all day. I honestly could, too. I've seen this all day, and I'm still finding new things <laughs> that excite me. I think uh, Buddhist is the one most likely to teach the algorithm how to make people of color. Buddhist! Buddhist! Let's do this. Come on, Buddhist. Buddhist. It's your stank Buddhist. <laughs> is about to have a new most liked video of all time from, surprise, a really hot person. Uh, Bow down before your new queen. Yeah, my dog. Dumb and no shame, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that real girl, the real boy. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> that video of Australian model and fitness influencer Leah Holton has already racked up 46 million likes. Some people are understandably asking questions like, why? <laughs> and who is this? And wait a minute, is she filming while driving a car? <laughs> but Leah Halton is apparently very popular on Australian TikTok, so panelists, as an Australian, explain to us Americans <laughs> why this video is so popular. Patty. She took the rules from Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> no rules, just right. <sighs> <laughs> Betsy? That's no woman. That's yeah. actually a giant Australian spider. <laughs> They're so big, then. They're so big and scary. Uh, They're too big. They're too big. Shoot. Um, uh, the top of the morning to ya. Uh, that lassi is more delicious than some piping hot haggis. <laughs> It, okay, wait, no, before we clap. Yeah, no. Because <laughs> yeah. it felt as if it started Irish mm. and then real quick went very Scottish. And the weird thing is I was going for Japanese, so. Oh, okay. All right. All right, that got away from you. Yeah, I'll work that on. got away from you. But I hey, ran away. I heard a Scottish big ass thing. snort from over there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, points for effort. Oh, points for effort. You. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Going out to dinner is blissful until that fateful moment when the check arrives and everyone pretends like they didn't have any of the hummus plate we ordered for the table. <laughs> we all saw you, Amber, and your breath reeks of crushed chickpea. <laughs> well, one friend group devised a way to silence debate over picking up the check forever. <laughs> actually how I got this job. <laughs> so comedians, what's a better way to decide who picks up the check? Good question. The Electoral College. <laughs> <laughs> Patty. I don't think that's funny. <laughs> um, it's the hardest um, college to get into. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever can afford Netflix without ads. <laughs> yes. Come on. That's actually yeah. very Rolling good. Rolling in it. Rolling in it. That's actually really good. Yeah. 
Oh, Betsy. Okay, you toss everyone into a lake and whoever floats has to pay it. <laughs> whoever floats. Whoever floats. Whoever it's floats. Everybody floats. Yeah, you're splitting I mean, that check. If you sink, you're a good Christian woman and not a witch. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, God. When you think of feminism, you probably think of equal pay, bodily autonomy, and new seasons of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> but these are lofty goals. Sometimes we need to practice feminism in small doses, which is why women on TikTok are popularizing the idea of microfeminism, a trend which, quote, encourages women to make the world a more equitable place through small, intentional daily gestures, like holding the door open for another woman or shoulder checking random dudes. <laughs> No, but this is my favorite act of microfeminism. So I'm on the sidewalk, on the correct side of the sidewalk, only taking on my one little lane, and I'm walking to the car. And sure enough, there's a group of eight young men walking towards me, taking up the entire sidewalk. They are taking up the entire sidewalk. And I just kept walking in my lane, and I literally walked into one of them. Whoa. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You go laughing. Yeah. You go. She, what she didn't say is that they were preschoolers. <laughs> A man is a man, no matter how short. <laughs> it's a man. So also wait, if I run a man over in my car, is that macro feminism? <laughs> Panelists, what are some personal acts of microfeminism you'd like to be recognized for? Oh. Betsy. Whenever a dude starts man spreading, I sit on his lap. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Becoming a sister wife, but just to make girlfriends. <laughs> it's kind of macro, it's kind of big. Yeah, okay. I like it. Patty is in the lead with 700 Woo! points. When we come back, we're playing Hashtag Wars. Stay tuned. Woo! How tall do you think I am? Guess you'll never know, unless you come see After Midnight Live. Get your tickets at aftermidnighttickets.com. <laughs>